So this video is going to review TXA, its benefits in the pre hospital setting, why we're getting it. And overall, we're just going to hit the salient point. We're not going to review the clotting of gay. We're not going to review the nebulous definitions and all the steps that are involved in that process. We're just going to talk about what does simply, why it's beneficial, and how it can truly save patients' lives. Because if we look, the leading cause of death in patients 45 years and younger is trauma. The main causes of death and trauma are hemorrhage as well as traumatic brain injury. 40% of all patients from trauma will die because of hemorrhage. 50% of that is potentially reversible. So here we have a huge significant gap that we have on the dress of this time. And this is why TXA can help increase the survivability of these patients. Because TXA, when it's given in the pre-hospital setting, has shown to reduce mortality within 24 hours, which is quite significant. So the key takeaway is that TXA should be given as soon as possible. Because that's why our medical directives stipulate this point. Given within three hours, it's contraindicated because that can increase the adverse events. And as well, it can does not render a desired effect at that point in time. The vast majority of the studies have shown that if you give it within two hours of the injury, it can be beneficial. But again, give it as soon as possible. But our medical directives actually stipulate you should not forget about our therapies. It should be done in conjunction with driving because we know it's probably a surgical emergency. Obviously, airway, breathing, circulation, controlling the hemorrhage, potentially analgesia and IV fluids, but you should give this in conjunction with the other therapies. But again, give it as soon as possible. The preferred route for TXA is actually by the intravenous route and the intraosseous route if you're certified to do so. Because one, it's more bioavailable, and two, it actually decreases the side effect profile of it. So that's why. But there's a little nuance here to catch because we know that patients experiencing traumatic hemorrhage probably don't have good perfusion. They probably do not have sufficient enough blood flow to lead to a pretty robust vascular state where you're going to feel or visibly see veins. So it's like it may be difficult to get intravenous access on the site. So even though it's the preferred route to mitigate the side effect profile and overall it's more bioavailable, you may just choose to do an intramuscular, which is the second option, or for those that are not certified in intravenous or intraosseous, you can give it by the intramuscular route, because again, you can give it as soon as possible. You just give it with two needles if you're doing it in the vastus lateralis, because you can only give maximum five mils of fluid per thigh. So that's why you have to split it up. But again, a lonely ones there. So transexamic acid, or TXA, is classified as an antifibrolytic agent, which overall quite simply means it helps support clotting. So we look at a comparison. When we take patients that are experiencing a stroke to the stroke center, they can receive a fibrolytic agent. In most circumstances, it's TPA. So that's for ischemic strokes. And obviously, that there's a clot in a blood vessel that's compromising blood flow. And... A thrombus is generated because you have these platelets kind of adhering together, red blood cells can be accumulated, and you have this fibrin network or this mesh network that helps stabilize the clot. But if they receive TPA, it breaks down the fibrin, which destabilizes the clot because the mesh network. So that's why it helps break down the clot. TXA is an anti-fibrolytic agent, which means it supports clot. A simple analogy I like to use for TXA and understanding what it does is think about when you go to the gym class in your elementary school or high school and there is a equipment room. When you go into the equipment room, you see all these balls on the net. So the balls represent the platelets and the red blood cells and that is the fibrin mesh network. Now imagine TXA was given, you just essentially reinforce the net and that's why it helps support clotting. In contrast to aid in comprehension, TPA or the stroke drug cuts away the net. So that's why it destabilizes the clot. Finally, is that TXA is a very beneficial medication given in the pre-hospital setting for those patients experiencing post-traumatic hemorrhage. It stabilizes the clot. It will reduce the amount of bleeding and reduce mortality within 24 hours, especially when given and as soon as possible. But do not forget the other therapies that go along with it for each patient's group.